guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hey, what's up? I'm Marianne. So today I'm gonna be testing out a no-name brand. You can find this at the dollar store, of course. So we're gonna be doing a look using the Fenty Beauty line. I am so excited. I think she slayed the makeup community. I mean, she slayed me, so. Mm. Hey guys. So since this video is going to be like 20 million years long, I'm gonna put timestamps for you right here. Mm. So if you want to see how I created this look, my thoughts on the whole makeup line, and some swatches, then please keep on watching. Okay, so I was able to get my hands on the Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation, and I was able to get it in the shade 170. I matched myself, and I was pretty glad that I found my shade, because I can never find the perfect shade for my skin tone specifically. It's either too yellow or too pink and it just does not work out for me and I don't think that's cute. So I'm glad I was able to find the perfect shade and I'm so glad that Rihanna was able to be very inclusive with her products and her makeup line. So pretty excited about this. Um, I also got, sorry I'm itchy. <laughs> I also got the contour stick in the shade Amber and like it's so perfectly round. I love it. I don't know. I did swatch it in the store because I wanted to make sure like that I was going to end up liking the products. I did notice with the matchsticks that they are kind of waxy upon swatching them in the store and that kind of scared me. I did not want to get the concealer for that reason because if I'm going to conceal my under eyes, I don't want to be pulling and tugging my skin because wrinkles, duh. So I steered away from that and I've heard a lot of people say that it's not much of a concealer, rather just a matte cream highlight. So I just opted out of buying that because I didn't find a need. I love this hexagon packaging. Oh my god, I'm living breathing, dying for this. I was able to get a kilowatt highlighter in the shade Mean Money and Hustler Baby. Um, I think it's just a beautiful like peachy, like icy peach shade. Um, I think it's very beautiful. One seems more of a subtle highlight and the other one seems more of a metallic highlight. So I'm pretty excited to try this out. So we'll see how that goes. And I was also able to get the highlighter in Trophy Wife and this is so stunning. And then I got the Universal Gloss Bomb in the shade Fenty Glow and the packaging I live for again. <laughs> um, I'm excited to try this out because I'm a gloss gal myself, so we'll see how that goes too. Okay. So I already primed my face using the Bosha White Charcoal Mattifying Spray and I really love this for prepping my makeup, not for setting my makeup. I'll just leave like a list of what I use to prime my face. I use moisturizer and etc. Whatever. I'll just list it right here. <laughs> Let's get started. Okay, since I already primed my face, I'm just gonna go in. I'm gonna squeeze. I did a pump. Although it seems like I did too, I did a pump because I did half a pump each time. <laughs> I look insane. So I don't know if you can tell, but it's pretty full coverage for me. Like you saw how red I was, come on. And it did cover up my mild rosacea, so Pretty excited about that. It is a soft matte, but it looks very natural in my opinion. Like it's uh, it's kind of like a your skin but better kind of foundation. I don't know if you can tell, but it did oxidize just a little bit, but it still works out for my skin. So just keep that in mind when you're picking out your shade. Now I'm gonna put my concealer on and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just applied concealer to my eyes. So I'm gonna go in with the contour. Wow, this corral is testing me. So I'm just gonna do one side of the face just to show you how it blends out and then I need to concentrate for the other side, so. Oh 
I like doing the contour halfway through my cheek. So with cream contours, like stick contours, I like using a stippling brush. Um, I just used one from e.l.f. Like it's all good. Um, I just find that stippling brushes help blend out creams better. So I'm a little afraid because since it's so waxy feeling, I feel like I'm gonna have to put in a lot of effort to blend it out. Okay, I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like the contour blended into nothing. Like, I feel like there's a subtle darkness, but I feel like it didn't do anything. Like, I can see that there's like a shadow right here and like here, but it's like super subtle. Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna use a beauty blender. Let's see. Okay, I feel like it kind of contoured a little bit. Um, but so far, I'm not loving it. Okay, so I feel like the contour did nothing for my skin. So I'm just gonna go in with my favorite bronzer of all time, the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, just to warm up the complexion. Okay, so since we're still working on the face, I'm just gonna finish it off. So I'm gonna go in with Mean Money. Yeah, so I'm gonna go in with Mean Money and then if that doesn't work out for me, I'm gonna go in with Hustle Baby. Okay, so it's a subtle highlight. I think it's really pretty though. I'm gonna build it up once more. Yeah, I think that's such a beautiful shade. But I'm gonna go in with Mean Money, I mean Hustle Baby, yeah right? Yeah, I'm gonna go in with Hustle Baby to intensify it. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So I'm just gonna do the same thing that I did on one side of the face to the other. So second coat, cool, and then the shimmery one. Yeah, the highlight is so pretty. I love this. I live for this one. I believe this one is Hustla Baby. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. So now I'm going to apply this over the arch of my brow and under just to highlight it. That is so beautiful. It's like a golden peach. Very cute. Okay, so tip of the nose. A little bit of a cupid's bow, just a little bit, not a lot, just a little bit. Ex please excuse my dirty beauty blender. I used it to like blend out the contour a little more. But um, I'm just gonna go in and like press and like pick up the excess powder, product, etc. Just to avoid the major cake face. So yeah, this beauty blender is still damp. Just keep that in mind. Okay, so let's move on to the eyes. So I'm gonna actually use Trophy White all over the lid. So let me just like scooch in a little bit and let's start with the eye look. I'm gonna use the Modern Renaissance palette um, to complete this 
I look. So I'm going to go in with burnt orange, which is just like a really warm brown. So that's going to be my crease shade. What's very important is the way you angle your brush when you're applying the eyeshadow, just to prevent it from going all over the place. So now, so you can see that I'm angling it downwards as opposed to like upwards. Okay, so now that we have a crease shade, I'm going to go in with Trophy Wife. Ooh, girl, that is so beautiful. Holy shit, I'm gonna feel like a toucan right now. Wow, that is so pretty. I can't. Can you? <laughs> oh my god. That is beautiful. I have some on my <laughs> on my lashes, but it's okay. So normally I like going in with my finger when I'm using shimmery shades on my lids because I feel like the payoff is so much better. That is so... Okay, I'm done. I'm gonna go to sleep. Bye. That is so beautiful. I can't... Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's beautiful. They're so shimmery too. I'm living! So now I'm gonna go in with... Cypress Umber. It's like this dusty brown. Gently pressing my brush onto the eyeshadow and like tapping it off because... We gotta build it up slowly. Okay, so we're gonna do, 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 do. We're gonna beep, beep, beep. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with Realgar just to sandwich it in between Trophy Wife and Cypress Umber. It's gonna be harsh, I know. Just wait. So now I'm gonna introduce burnt orange again and blend out the edges. And then go back in with Trophy Wife. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with burnt orange on the lower lash line. Wow, that face was super attractive, let me tell you. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with Realgar with a flat lining brush and just sandwich it between that burnt orange shade and my actual lashes. <laughs> okay, and then going in with Cy Cypress Umber. Now I'm going to highlight the inner corner with Primavera from, again, the same palette. It's a pale gold shade and I feel like it looked very pretty with Trophy Wife. Actually, just to like try it out, I want to use Mean Money Hustle Baby. I'm gonna apply mascara. Okay, so as I wait for the mascara to dry, I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Glow Lip Gloss. It smells, it smells like Jolly Ranger. So I really like the shade and the smell of this gloss. Um, it's like it's kind of in between an opaque and a sheer gloss. Like it's just like that perfect medium. Um, I think this is a beautiful shade. It's kind of like your lips but better kind of gloss too. Like that's like the theme of this of this makeup line. Like your skin but better. Um, 
I think it's a beautiful shade. I think it's a great formula. It doesn't feel like clumpy or like goopy or just thick and annoying. Um, so I really think she did nail the lip gloss formula. Okay, so for my final thoughts from a consumer to a consumer, um, I think the foundation is 10 out of 10, would recommend. It is a soft matte foundation, but it kind of looks like your skin at the same time. It doesn't seem like it's drying out your face, if that makes sense, because I feel like a lot of matte foundations make your skin look like it's a Sahara desert, pretty much. So I'm really glad that this foundation does not do that. As for the contour sticks, um, you know, it's okay. I mean, it didn't suck completely. Um, I don't feel like it did much, honestly. Um, it was kind of just a subtle contour. Um, but I did find that it was a little waxy and it was kind of hard to blend because of the waxiness. I always use a stippling brush to blend out creams and this brush has never failed me, so... I don't know. Is it the brush? Is it this? Who knows? I did feel like this is waxy and just keep that in mind. So for the star of the show, Trophy Wife, the Kilowatt Highlighter, um, it's stunning, honestly. It's such a beautiful, true yellow gold. And the formula is so good too. Like it's actually pigmented and like there's a lot of glitter packed into this one in particular. Um, I didn't really find that to be the case for the duos. This is too in your face to be worn on a day-to-day -day basis, but as an eyeshadow, I think it's beautiful. I think it'll be great for festivals as a highlighter. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna make a lot of use out of this highlight right here. So now for the other kilowatt highlighter in Mean Money and Hustle Baby. Uh, I think it was gorgeous. I love how she has like the best of both worlds in one product, in one packaging, if that makes sense. Um, like she has a subtle highlight and then the, the blinding highlight. Um, the subtle obviously what more can you say? It's subtle, it's still good, it's still visible. Um, I'm more of a blinding gal myself, so I wish this would have been like a highlight on its own, but like paired together, like it's so much more intense. And like, can you just die? Like, come on, come on. I love that it's a thin formula and it's not super sticky, which I really enjoy, and I love the scent of this. Um, so, so far, everything was a rave. For me, but in my opinion, you should save your money on the contour sticks. It's not terrible, but it's not great. It's like right in the middle. I will try it out some more and I'll like leave an update in the description box, but so far it's like eh for me. I wouldn't repurchase again, that's for sure. That was a mission. So yeah, that concludes this video. I really hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye. Hey guys. Hey guys. <laughs>